Hi Vogue, I'm Liv Tyler. Hi Vogue, I'm Stella McCartney. And together we are Rock Royalty. <laughs> tripod in a fucking light well, propped up on a lego titanic there's the oh, light mine's popped up on about five blankets literally i miss you can we wrap this up so you and i can have a drink on zoom let's us have a drink now we've been friends for a very oh, very long time we must have met a good 20 a good 20 years ago you think i think so i think i was I don't remember exactly, 18 or 19 or something. I was looking it up. Armageddon had come out the year before, and then I made a couple movies in London, which is probably where we met. And it was, it, we didn't stop the minute we met. I mean, the thing about Liv and I is we grew up with very, very similar backgrounds, and then we tried to go out and carve our own careers. We didn't have to work through much to understand each other. It was pretty- Yeah, there was like an instant like understanding. Well, and I think we both always really crave a real connection because in our experience as children growing up, there was like a lot of BS around us or people wanting to be around you or your parents. And when we would be together, we felt very grounded. We definitely never took anything too seriously that didn't need to be taken seriously. I'd never been to a Met and Liv had never been. I didn't know anything about the Met. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who was going, what people did. I got to New York a couple of days before the Met. And I knew, I, I was like, Liv, do you want to come with me? Because I just wanted to go with a girlfriend. She literally called me and said, will you come? I don't even know if she said to this fashion event. She just said, will you come to this event with me at the museum? So it was like a night out for us. We were like, oh my God, this is a kind of curious adventure. And I'm super shy, but I was like, okay, great. And she didn't really explain very much other than she was make, having t-shirts made for us. I don't even think she said what they were going to say on them. I remember going to Filth Mart down in Little Italy in the morning of the, of the Met. He just had like vintage t-shirts on the Amazing wall. Amazing collection. And I, at that time, all I wore is my kind of uniform. But the white three, three in a pack Hanes vests and that was like what I wore every day day in day out so I had a pack of them when I was in New York and I remember going down and taking it to him and saying look can you cut it off can you make it one one shoulder can you embroider it and then just like put rock royalty on and we I sat and I designed it with him and they were black ribbons that were just embroidered on top so appliqued on top and studded I don't remember any of it being planned out. And I didn't know the theme. Did you know the theme? Like I must have found out that theme the night before. I don't know. I think it was just another of my many genius moments. <laughs> and I remember going back and getting them. I don't even remember when we put them on. Like You brought it over and I'd never tried it on before. I really just remember that she brought this white t-shirt and it was quite short. And it was one-sided. And the only thing that I had that made me feel comfortable because it was like covered up was this very long, very 90s black Comme des Garçons skirt. And I was like freaking out about my boobs, how I was gonna fit a bra, what I was gonna do. Cause it you was- wear a bra. And what I was gonna wear with it. Cause you already had your, your cool Chloe trousers that you had designed. And so it was tricky to put something with it. I remember it so well. And I felt really embarrassed cause I felt well, like you're rock royalty. I'm rock something, but it, I don't think royalty is the word. And so I felt a little- No, I think what it is, babe, I think the two of us together took us up to rock royalty. Alone, we couldn't have, we couldn't have claimed it. We had to be together to make it. I remember coming over to pick you up and you were having your hair and makeup finished. And I was like, I don't I don't I'd know. never, I had never had my hair and makeup done for an event before. And I just couldn't, but I was like, oh my God, Liv, you're getting hair and makeup done. And I remember going into like a panic because I'd literally just gone like all over my face. I don't remember having my hair and makeup done, but she says that I remember doing it myself and I had really strong pink blush cheeks on. It looks like I have no makeup on. And the, these like beaded earrings, I didn't really have any jewelry. I was just a teenager. Can I leave for a minute to look at this rainbow? Just talk amongst yourselves. Can you edit this out? Oh my crikey.
Vicky. Oh my God, it's the most beautiful, honest to God, I can't focus. I remember coming to pick you up. Now, we, you'd have like your publicist, you'd have your cars outside. Like I, I don't, I think I just like jumped in a yellow cab. I remember us going in and we were like, what the fuck's going on? Like we got there and there was a staircase and all these press and we were like, oh my God, I don't remember getting up the stairs. We were at the time quite frowned upon and judged by people for our look. Everyone was staring at us like, oh my God. And everyone was like, I think they must have seen us coming up those stairs in our t-shirt and just been like, and I remember us sitting at our table and we were like, literally, we were like gobsmacked by the people all around us. You and I were like, we were like. The thing that was weird about it was because it wasn't really appropriate that we wore those shirts officially. We were not following the honors of the dress code, I guess in some way. So there was very, cool and rebellious of Stella and she was it was a really um, like amazing thing in a way but we were just being ourselves and we were being it young wasn't intentional at that time I didn't come at it intentionally to be reversed at all I didn't know what people wore and I was like this would be fun I remember the thing that we really didn't expect and even at that time I didn't really know what it was either but I remember the next day we were on the cover of WWD that we didn't expect. Like we were like, oh my God, people took notice of us. The Met was so different back then. I Googled today, 1999, because I was just trying to remember what was going on in our lives at that time. And it was really interesting to see what everyone was wearing. because No one was that dressed up. There was a picture of Charlize Theron and Gwyneth and everyone, it was a very different, to what being dressed up is now, there was no comparison. In this day and age, people would really plan it, overthink it, really do it intentionally to get attention in the media and like, and we really didn't. And that's what's so lovely about it. And that's adorable that they, that that is a real moment in the Met kind of making. I feel kind of weirdly proud, Liv. <laughs> you should be proud. <laughs> And it's just one of those things when all the stars align, like it was our first time, we I didn't overthink it. We had a great time. We have some crazy memories. And, but we, it just was like a beautiful- I also think- Connection for our friendship. I'm really happy that it, it was a standout moment for you guys because it was for us. And so thank you for making us remember it. I have mine. Have you still got yours then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cute. We in should so get them that. together. Oh, we have to do a photo of us in that. That would be so cute. And then we should do little baby ones for all our kids. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching us just babble on. I apologize if um, it was a little murky, but it was a long time ago. But thank you for having us. Bye, Vogue. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Liv, I'm going to FaceTime you.